Yo, no nonsense, no out here today. Got to show you a quick rundown on how to replace a radiator in this 2004 Mitsubishi Galant. It's got the 2.4 liter four cylinder. Uh, this should be 2004 to 2014, but correct me if I'm wrong. Now remember, I'm going to give you the quick rundown here, so I'm assuming you already know how to use tools and such. Give it a thumbs up if you like it, and consider subscribing and checking out the channel. So I've already got my new radiator sitting here, everything looks good. This one's got the automatic transmission cooler in it, however, this car doesn't have that. So if you've got this on yours, you're going to have to take those off and you know swap those hoses. It's going to be one extra step, I can't show you. Begin by getting your car jacked up in there so you get some space. Of course, I'm on a lift so it's a lot easier. And then you're going to have a plastic panel on each side, looks like this. This one's got nine of these holding it on, and the other one's got eight. To get these stupid plastic clips off, you know, they make this Phillips head like you can thread them out or something, but they don't always work like that. So I find you just get a pocket screwdriver under there, pry them up a little bit, just like that. And once you get it about halfway, you can pull them out. Now get a drain pan under this thing and turn your petcock here to drain out the radiator. Once you get it draining, go up top, take your cap off the radiator so you can assist with the flow. And once this thing drains out fully, come over here on this side, squeeze this clamp with some pliers, and wiggle this lower radiator hose off. Also spray down these three lower radiator fan bolts with some WD-40 because we're going to be removing those later, later and uh, get these two 10 millimeter bolts holding your AC condenser on. You got one there and one there. They're going to have 10 millimeter head bolts on those. And then back up top here, remove your 10 plastic clips going across here. You got two different sizes. The black part of it's got these small ones and, uh, and the, this part's got the bigger ones. Same way of removing those. Remove these two plastic clips here, and then slide this duct off your airbox. Remove your upper radiator hose and tuck that out of the way. You got the spring clamp on there too. Remove this spring clamp here and get your coolant recovery bottle hose out of the way. Then get your electrical connections off. You just squeeze down on these tabs here, pull that off. You got one down here on the pet, uh, driver's side fan. Is push down on this, pull back, goes right on the fan there. And then you're gonna have these two tabs here holding these wires on as well. You can just kind of pry those off with a screwdriver, try not to break them. Now on this side and that side, remove the three 12 millimeter head bolts. Uh, to get to this one, I used a ratcheting wrench. You gotta peel, pull this back a little bit and you can remove that bolt out. Now you got some play up in this cover here. At this time, you can pull up on both sides here, get some, uh, some play out of there, and slide this radiator out from these rubber grommets here. Do that on both sides. And remove the two 10 millimeter bolts that are holding the condenser onto the radiator on the top. There ain't no Honda, that's all I know. At this point, we should be able to slip this radiator out here. Remember, if you got the transmission cooler lines, you gotta take those off too. All right, now we just gotta swap the fans over to the new one. Before you go swapping everything over though, just do a side-by-side -side comparison and make sure it's the same size and you got all the same fittings on there. Everything looks equivalent. Again, this one's got the oil cooler on there, but that's okay. We can leave that on there. We're not going to be using that. Also, make sure to switch over your rubber grommets here for the lower, lower portion of the radiator. And then you've got three 10 millimeter bolts on the bottom and three on the top holding these fans on. On these lower bolts, if, they, if yours look like this, I would definitely replace these. Uh, these I wouldn't reuse, but when you're taking them out, you know, if this lower nut spins in there, it can be a real pain in the butt to get them out, you know, so just make sure not to damage the plastic, because the new one actually comes with new nuts in there, so that's no big deal. Just just don't damage the plastic on the, on the fan here. So yeah, bolt that fan assembly onto the new one, jam that thing back in there, get every li everything lined up, make sure your lower grommets go in these, these holes down here properly. And, uh, you know, get the condenser bolted on there, everything wired back up. Uh, I'm not going to show you exactly how to do that. I will give you some tips at the end here about, uh, you know, filling and burping out the coolant. But if you can't get this thing back in after taking it out, come on. I mean, you shouldn't be working on cars if you can't do that. But do refer to the beginning of the video if you want to see, you know, how it came apart. And then once you get this all back together, you're ready to fill it up. One tool I really like is this Lyle Funnel Kit. It comes with different adapters for all your different radiators. Really awesome piece. I'll put a link down there if you want to buy this on Amazon. Totally worth investment. I absolutely love this thing. So fill her up with new antifreeze. You can use whatever kind you like. I'm using Press Stone here, green antifreeze. And let that funnel work its magic, getting all those air bubbles out without making a big mess. Once that's done settling, leave it about a third way full, go start your engine up. Once it's been running, I like to wedge a stick in there, raise the RPM up to about 2,000, and turn the blower on number four with the heat on high. So run this thing for about 15 minutes like this until your cooling fan comes on and you got hot heat blown out of the vents inside the car. At that point, all of our air bubbles are done coming out of here. You squeeze this a couple times to verify that. 
to get this thing off, this is slightly dangerous, but you squeeze this upper hose a little bit, pop this plug in here, let go of the hose, then you pop this off, and you shouldn't have any mess at all. Levels right up to the top there. You can put your radiator cap on, secure that down, and then come over here to your uh, coolant recovery bottle, and you can fill this up to the appropriate level by just taking that plug out like that. And you're done! So without further ado, this is No Nonsense Know How, and I hope you enjoyed the video. KZ Guy 2, check out the channel, give it a thumbs up. Till next time, y'all have a good night.